Yeah, huh? Oh yeah, let me see. Hold on, I'll be right, be right back. Hold on one second. Yeah, we out here, family. We out here chilling, um, living and loving life. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, R.I.P. to the president, John Pombe Magafuli. Yeah, and um, we gonna keep it going, family. You know, it's a lovely day. We are at the uh, salad. What's this place called, babe? Salads for, Salads for days, family. That's where we at currently um, in Masaki, and we chilling. What's up, Lady Visionary? What's the deal? We good. Yeah, we can't complain. You know what I'm saying? We about to start the show off right. We unapologetic, no mask, and we unapologetic. No matter. <laughs> yeah, so as y'all can see, we had a beautiful wife in the building. Yeah. Hold on, let me change this around. I want to push the phone back a little bit, make sure it fall. Yeah, uh, I want to say peace to everybody on here. Um, shout out to Lady Visionary, who's in the house. Shout out to Africa, who's in the house. Greetings to both of you, um, everybody who's tuned in. And um, uh, yeah, we're at Salad for Days here. It's a local spot, and we were, uh, you know, told to try it out. It's supposed to be really good. The food looks really good. But um, first, I want to send uh, my uh, prayers and condolences um, to um, all Tanzanians, to the family of His Excellency, John Pombe Joseph Magafuli, who was the president of this wonderful country. Um, he will be forever missed. Um, I don't think we know a leader like him at all. And um, sad time. And um, of course, this is, um, they called for a two week, two week period of mourning here in Tanzania. Um, and uh, so we just definitely want to send out prayers and doses to his family, um, those who loved him, supported him. Um, we too feel. Um, this pain at this time right now, and uh, it's not easy, but he will never, ever, ever be forgotten um, for the person he was. Um, he became president, the fifth president, as a matter of fact, of Tanzania in 2015. And um, he's now, he, he was uh, serving a second term. Um, and um, much respect to him, all of his works, his legacy, all the things that he was doing here. Um, much respect, much love, and may he continue to rest in power. And we will miss him. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Rest in power. He did good. He did very good. He was a very good president. Mm -hmm. I, um, I don't think I, people knew how, very, how much he really loved, and I didn't get it until I got here. He, how much he really uh, loved his people, loved Tanzania, the country, the people. Um, of course he was from here, so you know, that natural just love for your people, just a special kind of person. Um, just remember watching videos of him just going through the city and just, just going through the city and talking with the people and just mingling with the people, like a, a real person, you know? Um, man, just giving and so many big projects that were in the works, but um, yeah, Tanzania will rise and he will never be forgotten, you know. So we just pray that, you know, his legacy and everything will still stand and we continue to see great things from a wonderful, this wonderful country. Yeah. So, as you can see, our food came, we're eating. I have the chicken, salad, planters. And a beautiful wife. What do you have here? I have a um, <laughs> prawns and calamari salad with fresh uh, bananas. And um, try it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got the same thing. Oh, yeah, we got the same thing. Mm -hmm. I got chicken in my tooth now. Mm -hmm. But it's just chicken, good. It's like ponderosa. Ponderosa chicken. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Suzanne Jumbo, how you doing? I'ma read your uh, your response. He taught us we can question the status quo and achieve. He left Tanzania better. I believe that too. You know, me and a beautiful wife was walking the other day, and we was um we had a long day because we've been out all day, and we was just walking home. It was dark. We was just like, man, it's just so free out here. You know, everything feels free. People are happy, people are free. And um, when you come to Tanzania, you're gonna see it's a very free, loving country. You know what I'm saying, if you come visit. And I would still say come visit. There's nothing going crazy, there's nothing crazy happening. You know, everything is cool right now, fam. Yeah. Paul Singer, he was taken out by the governments because of the government and him not sticking to their rules. But that's okay, the most high is in control, peace, and love, family, hang in there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of speculations going on, but we don't know. Like, we just regular people, we don't know none of that. Um, I just know from what we know and what we read, he had a heart condition. And that's what we know, family, and we're going to leave it there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to leave it right there, family. It didn't say it was COVID. It didn't say it was none of these other things. It said it was a heart condition. And that's that's what it says in the news. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, we got a cat. A cat in the building. Give it up for the cat. It was so strange yesterday because <clears throat> when the announcement, I actually woke up. And a friend of mine texted me, and she was wondering if I heard that the president had passed. And I'm like, what? You know? And um, I broke down because I'm like, are you see? It was just like you felt like I felt like I was somewhere else. Like this is not happening. This is this can't be true. But then others kept verifying it, and then we saw it in the the paper. And then for some reason yesterday, I think even the heavens, even the the the, the weather was sad. You know, it's usually like a bright, bright sunny day here in Tanzania in Dar. But yesterday it was, do you remember it was really overcast? It was overcast. I was like, wow, look at this. You know, we just lost a really great, great leader. Um, but it was just overcast the whole day. And um, I think it actually rained a little bit this morning. The sun is starting to come out a little bit, but it's not as bright as it usually is here. So, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... It was like that yesterday, even with that news coming, it's like even the heavens know what we just lost, you know? Yeah. And uh, I felt it. I might as well tell you, I was just, ugh. I had a wet face all day yesterday yeah. and this morning, and I'm still like, wow. You know, just reading about him and just learning more and more and more about what he did. It was a great, mm. It's a great man. Yeah. Yeah. And um, blessings, 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 infinite blessings to his family in this amazing country. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just time to be strong right now. Time to be strong. Time to um, keep looking at our families. Thank you so much. Yeah, and we, uh, you know, keep it together, you know. Um, one thing we all promise is that, you know, is death, you know, with life, it's, it's going to be a day we're not going to be here, you know. Um, good thing the president, he passed uh, as a great man who stood on what he believed in and, and, and stuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Someone said yesterday that all the good African leaders do not make it to the end of their term. Hey man, look, we in a system of white supremacy. You know, even over here in Africa. So, you know, that's something that we all got to come together and fight and figure out how to um, replace a system of white supremacy with a system of justice. Yeah, and that's that's on all of us. You know, all of us beautiful people, we got to figure out how to do this. You know, we got to work with one another. Tanzania will go from strength to strength. President Samia Hassan is an iron woman. I believe that. You know what I'm saying? I believe that, family. I definitely believe that. Only the bad ones last stay in power. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's some cool presidents out here. You know, we don't know none of them personally, so 
you know, I can't really say who's bad or who's good, you know. All we could do is experience the country and um, visiting the country of Rwanda, visiting the country of um, here, you know, we see that, you know, the presidents really love their people and do a good job, you know what I'm saying? You know, we see happy people, that let us know that the government is doing happy things. When we see people killing and and people getting robbed, we see that it's a government that's really not doing what they're supposed to be doing. <coughs> USA, sorry. Anyway, yeah, but all is well. Dina, Shalom family. Yeah, good leaders are hard to come by. I feel bad for this family, his friends, and his people, prayers and blessings to Tanzania. Yeah, one thing about our brothers and sisters out here that they, they bounce back, you know what I'm saying? And they, they're smart. You know, our Tanzanian brothers out here, and sisters out here, very smart, resilient, you know, and you know, they, they ready, you know. Everybody's ready, family. And a lot of people won't cope. You just describe American government yeah, I mean, look, I call it how I see it. You know what I'm saying? I call it how I see it. Our people have been uh, racially targeted for a long time in the U.S. We still being racially targeted. I just seen a story where a one-year-old got shot in the head by the cops, you know, and, and, this, and then we don't get no justice. Our people get shot, we get killed, and we get no justice. So, you know, it, America, you, you ain't gonna tell me you know, America's better than some countries over here because, like, over here is peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Over here, you know, and I'm talking about most of the, all the countries we've been to. You know what I'm saying? We don't get racially targeted, and it's peaceful for the most part. Ain't nobody fighting in fast food stores and just fighting when they come out the club and, and people getting beaten. Like, I don't see that out here, and I haven't seen it yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, like, I don't want to cuss, but I'm not down in my brothers and sisters over there. I know it's the system. You know what I'm saying? I know it's the system we live in under there. It's hard to, you trying to live life, trying to do the right things, you know, and, and live well and, and prosper out there. And then you always got people trying to attack you and coming for you. And you got cops you got to worry about. You got all kinds of stuff you got to worry about over there. It ain't cool. Yeah, one year old, man. I don't take that lightly, man. I hate when things happen with children and, and things of like that. I hate that. Do you go to clubs over there? Um, I've been to a few clubs out here. Yeah, I've been to a few. Yeah. Yeah. We. I don't know. We have a time. It's on you. Yeah, it's on you. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Maybe I should put it on me. Yeah. No, no, no. Huh? You said the comment. Oh, the club? Uh, yeah, I've been to a club. I went to a club last week for a little bit. Um, I was invited by my boy Jay. You know, it's a nice club. Yeah. So anybody who clubs, there's clubs out here. Yeah. Okay, you're coming real boys, though. Yeah, I mean that. That lets you different that different differentiates my voice from uh, the comments family. Over 100 people killed in Philly. Yeah, it's like a death culture, man, in the states, man. You know how we gonna handle that over there with with all that? It's like a death culture over there. It's something. It's something over there. It's an energy over there that I do not see when we travel other places. It's a certain energy of death, killing, hate going on over there that I don't see over here, you know. And a lot has to do with the system we're in. You know, the system is created to where we don't like each other or can't stand each other or, you know, just, it's a very competitive system. Even in our music, you see like, you know, you got the battle raps, you got, everything has to be with competition and competing with each other. You know, it's a whole system over there that keeps us from coming together. We battling each other when we should be working together. Thank you, and although many of us aren't there, we were influenced by its leadership. The leadership has caused many to make the choice to visit or reside there. Definitely. I believe that's why we're here, because we saw how uh, President Magafuli just took a stand, you know, and then 
when you get here to Tanzania visit, you'll see the cool, peaceful energy that's here. Melissa, it's the energy of, hold on, it's the energy of oppression. I just came back from three months in Mombasa and three months in Cape Town. I felt the energy shift instantly as I landed. Yeah, family, you know, it's a shame, but in our own country, it's like a, it's an energy there that's really going against building and coming together as uh, brothers and sisters. You know, it is anybody. You know, you got all kinds of stuff going on. I seen that what happened with the, uh, what's it, the them, um, massage parlors in Atlanta? You got, you got white people attacking Asians. You got all kinds of stuff going on out there. Yeah, you got white people attacking black people and Asians over there. You know, and everybody, you know. But I'm focused on our people, you know what I mean? Like, we, we at the end, I wrote with this, man. Chicago is also a killing field, it's sad. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a deaf culture that we have to learn how to get out of. We have to learn how to um, position ourselves in a way where we're not even focused on each other and harming each other, we, you know. I focus it somewhere else, you know, or about building with each other, not about battling and doing all this stuff that we don't need to be doing to each other. Yeah. To Africa as soon as I can, downsize done. What's up, Miss C? Miss C in the building. Yeah. Shout out to you, family. Do all the fight, do all of the flights for the U.S. come into Tanzania at night? Um. I don't know of all of them. I'm really not sure. We never flew from the U.S. to Africa, period. We never flew from the U.S. to Africa, so we don't know. Every time we came to Africa, it been through the Middle East. Yeah, it's been through the Middle East, family. It always been through, like, Dubai or through Abu Dhabi. Those are the best ways for us to travel and go. Because, hey, look at, look at my man here, look. Oh, dang, what's up, man? What's up, family, how you doing? Yeah, you good? Yeah, man, it's the um, beautiful wife. Yeah, we got Kevin in the building. Yeah, what's up, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Have a seat, man. How you doing? Friends. Okay. okay. So I just saw you like. Oh yeah, yeah. doing our yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Yeah. Who, who is this on? Oh, who is on, Meg? Oh hi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, I am full. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. That's good. Yeah. So how you been, Kev? Everybody, all good, this is Kevin. Good, yeah. good. Like, uh, what was that last time? The last time oh, we was in Bezzy um, Beach, it was like uh, the beginning of January. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Now he's yeah. back, he's back. Yeah, I'm back. For good. He For showed good. me around when I came here the first time. Yeah. Yeah, and this is our first time seeing him while we came back. So this is, this is great, man. Yeah. You guys saw the videos, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had fun and he, he went back. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see him yeah, again. Yeah. So how's like the energy with the, uh, you know, we know the, the president passed. Yeah, how does yeah. everybody feel about that? You know, so for, I know it's real soon, but like, you know, a lot of people want to know like how you feel things are going, are things going to change or they going to stay the same, you know? Well, uh, personally, uh, so it's it's shocking and uh, yeah. a lot of people are sad. It's a yeah. sad moment. And, yeah. You know, mixed feelings. But on my side, it's, it's really shocking. Mm -hmm. It happened so first, and yeah. the question is, what is next? What's gonna happen? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, good enough. Tanzania is peaceful. Everything going on. People are enjoying. Yeah. So. I think everything will be well. Mm. No doubt, the next president. So everything is gonna be cool. Yeah. Yeah, and people over here are peaceful. No, 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 no yeah. disputes. No what? We enjoy it still. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. No, no mask. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember. He used to. <laughs> He used to enjoy the fact he's been like six months without wearing a mask and he's in Tanzania and no mask on. Yeah, yeah. 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 So right now, 
we we had a lot of a little bit uh, a wave. I say people died, you know, mostly the the old folks. But I don't know. It's a mystery. Yeah, God yeah. is on our side. Yes. No mask on. We're yeah. still enjoying. We're still moving our all activities. Yeah, yeah, everything is fine. Cool. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. So, uh, you gonna be here for a while? Yeah, I'm uh, actually gonna enjoy uh, uh, Bilian. I don't know if it's uh, rice mixed with uh, a lot of uh, stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe cool. later on. Yeah, 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 drink. definitely. Yeah. Get something to drink. Yeah. Yeah, that's Last time you were like, uh, you had another crew, a family. You, 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 you had friends with you. No, no this when uh, when oh, the when you came back. When you, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they left. No, no, they're here. They're in. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So actually, you are asking for like a house of. Four people, more than five. Oh yeah, yeah, five. that was before. Like we found the house now. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, I knew you were many, so it wasn't easy. By yeah, 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 they found one yeah. too. Okay, they found a place. Okay, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice to see you, man. Good to see you too, man. <laughs> when the last time you talked to Tim? Yeah. Tim, yeah. when was he? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. How was your food, mom? Yeah, it's actually um, still in America. Put it on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. Hold on. Fix my hair. Fix my hair. Okay. So I'll see you later. Let me read some comments. Um, uh, squirrel. Wait. Peace, nomad family. Hello, Farouk. Salam. I hope I said that right. Yeah, we definitely want to um, hi, Missy. Uh, I got some of my food. Hold on. Okay. I ate toothpick. Like, these nails ain't doing it. Yeah. Happiness is preparing to go home to the motherland permanently. Yes, Missy. Come out. Oh, Lord. Oh, I thought that was food. My napkin almost fell. We heavily hurt in, in New York City, NYC, yeah. Rough times. You really can't wait to come back to Rwanda. Okay. Yeah, Rwanda's nice. A great female powerful woman is the new president. Are you visiting Kenya soon, fam? Um... We've been to Kenya like a few years back. It was nice. Kenya was nice. We're here for now. You know, like napkins keep falling. Because the wind. My arm hurt and I can't. Right now. Okay. Um, unapologetic feasters always feasting. Yes, jam man. It is what it is. Love to New Yorkers and the oh world. <laughs> Rest in peace, my food. Yes. Rest in peace. Rest in power. Uh huh? No, sorry, comment, but um. I need to do my face mask. Now my bumps cleared up. I had like a few pimples I had to pop yesterday. Yeah, but they clear. See, that's the one thing I do like about my skin. I could just wash my face and the pimples go away within like hours. <clears throat> and I'm like, what in the magic? But yeah. <laughs> Ayla, did you get that bag in the states where where it did? No, this is mom's. I took it. No, got that in Rwanda. Um, <laughs> she got it in Rwanda. Miss <laughs> Betty. Yeah, Miss Betty. Yeah. At um Kigali Heights. Right. She has some nice stuff. Betty. Yes. Right. Shout out. I miss her. Yeah. Um, also, I want to definitely say um, uh, much respect and blessings to the new president um, here uh, in Tanzania, um, Miss Samia uh, Suluhu. I hope I'm saying her name correctly, but definitely, definitely 
uh, look forward to great things from her. So definitely a salute to the new um, president. And again, um, His Excellency, Mr. Uh, John Magafuli will be deeply, deeply missed. Deeply missed. Oh. Yeah. You can read some comments if you want. Yes, Samia Suluhu Hassan. Yes, shout out to her, new president of Tanzania. I think she said she's the first female president of this country. Um, so she's number what, six? Yeah. Yeah, number six. Yeah. I'm sure she is. She was, if she was chosen by him, I'm sure he's, I'm sure she is a strong woman. Somebody just says she's a strong woman. Shout out to all of you. Um, these comments are going so fast. Let me see if I can catch some of them. Um, greetings from New York. Shout out to New York. Um, Ni, uh, Cheryl Foster, are there a collection of diaspora repack groups we can connect with when we arrive? There are definitely, um, Ni Cheryl Foster, there's definitely quite a few expats who are here that you can connect with. We run into people every week. Probably a couple of times a week we run into, um, you know, our folks that are here. So definitely you um, not going to go lacking in that area. So you can definitely meet quite a few of us here. Um, let's see. Bernardo Leonard, she's also a fearless leader. She no problem things shall something. Things shall go on. I hear you. I hear you. Um... Greetings from Somaliland. Greetings to you. All right. All right. Yeah, so we are here at uh, Salad for Days, and they have more than salad. That's the thing. So um, I'm enjoying um, the seafood salad, which is uh, calamari and prawns. And, um, man, this salad has so much good stuff on there. I don't know if you can see that. And these prawns are pretty big. Calamari, you got avocado, you got lettuce, you got um, zucchini, um, fresh bananas, or plantain over here. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's yummy. Yeah. So I stopped eating bread. It's been what, Ayla, about, it's more than a month now, right? It's over a month now, I think. Mm-hmm. It's over a month now. It's probably a month and one one week or something like that. Yep. Because it was around Valentine's Day. Oh. Yep. When I told you guys, I said, okay, I'm going to stop with the bread. So it's been doing good, losing some, some pounds and um, getting in shape. And you can't help but be in shape here. Like, it's, uh, you know, uh, sunny, nice and sunny most days. And um, you can get out and walk. Um, there's a lot to see and do. Um... You can eat healthy, fresh food, fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh meats, all of that stuff you can find here. Um, so, yeah, the healthy weight loss journey has been good. How about your business in Rwanda? Okay, well, right now it's just not a good time, so we're just um, looking at the up and down trends of things, what's going on right now as far as opening a restaurant. Not this time. I think we said this on a couple of videos, so we just kind of um, got to put that on hold. It's not smart to kind of just do things and not be sure on what's going to happen. Um, if it's going to do well, you still have to pay your employees. You still have to pay electric and all that stuff. So it's like, you know, um, I think it, we need to wait a little bit longer. You know, in, my, in our opinion, we've already discussed it. So, yeah, so just I'll say not right now. But thanks for asking. Um, can we get Ayla to do her funny stuff? She is too funny. <laughs> All right, Ayla, they want to... Uh... Oh, thank you, Miss C. <laughs> you have lost weight. Good food going on there. Thank you, Miss C. Here's Ayla. And we should do something funny. Huh? <laughs> do your funny stuff. Um, hello, welcome, I think. <laughs> Very good. Uh... <coughs> Feel like somebody in my eye. You ever just wake up and like you know your eye got eye juice? Oh, like you ever just be blinking and is like everything blurry? You're like, but yeah. How are y'all today? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. 
Mama reminds me of Queen Latifah, similar accent. People be saying that. I can't remember how Queen Latifah talked. Yeah, somebody said she looked like Dr. Mom Bell. Y'all don't look nothing alike. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you're not saying no one's ugly, it's just y'all don't have a resemblance. A lot of people say my beautiful wife looks like Dr. Mummy. We get a lot of like, messages like that. And I'm like, Dr. Mummy's not bad looking, but she don't look like my wife. Like, they got two different kind of faces. Now, Queen Latifah, I can She don't look like her to me, but I can see you like, yeah, like, I can see that a little bit. Like, all right, I understand why they said you look like her because you know the same complexion maybe same cheeks a little bit i don't know but yeah fam you know <laughs> all right and whatnot mm. oh, you got food on your hand <laughs> oh my teeth look yellow i need a teeth cleaning <laughs> <laughs> i do like i brush my teeth they just yellow <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you gotta go to the dentist and get a cleaner, cause I need a cleaner too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got a cavity? Yeah. I need to, um, it don't hurt though. It don't hurt. It's getting very low. Yeah. 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 Oh, Lord, the mic was on you. I'm talking. <laughs> but yeah, I have a cavity. I gotta get that filled. Mm. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Wait, I can see a little Dr. Mumby in her. What? I don't see it. I don't <laughs> you know see it. Where? Can you please tell me what where? What feature can you see that? Oh, that was my hair. I'm like, what flew in my face? I, you got to give us a feature you were seeing. Yeah, Dollar yeah. store toothpaste. You're funny, Missy. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start using baking soda uh, toothpaste again. The baking soda salt. That one was pretty good. That's good for making sure your teeth ain't yellow. <laughs> you cool, see my... He said my teeth always be yellow. You know what? The level of disrespect I'm receiving. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Yeah. I need a cleaning and to get this cavity filled, though. Joke question only. Yeah, Missy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Like me, I don't get offended by literally anything. Like I don't. I really don't. So you you can joke. I'm I'm good. No, yeah, I don't get offended by anything. It takes a lot to get me offended or something. Because I don't care. Like I could take jokes. Like you can joke. I'm good. I'm gonna laugh. It'd be funny. You know. Ayla, is there a property tax on a homes? And so you ask me this question. <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> You're funny. Huh? Um, uh, yes, I, I Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I got to study on that. I'm kind of young to know about property. Well, I'm really not that young. I'm 15. I really should know that. Maybe I should study more. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I think. <laughs> hey, Ayla, when are you going back to your new school in Dar? I never went to a school. Yeah, I think you got to get your hair cut if you go to school. Ayla going to go to school around the corner. We just got to cut her hair and get enrolled. You know what? The jokes are starting to get out of pocket. No. <laughs> See, I used to be darn paranoid to just trim my ends. So cutting my hair. <laughs> I, 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 I would have local friends. I, oh, do I? No. In Rwanda, I did. Here, no. I don't know. What was that? Oh, that's not local. They're American. Oh. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Um. All right. Thank you. I was just going to ask her to spell her name. Yeah. 
So we talked about this in the last live, like people be spelling my name wrong. It be a whole different name sometimes. You got Elon, which is technically Alan. You have um, Ella, E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. You can, <laughs> and it's just A-L-A. -A. Simple. What is this? Oh, that's a bump. Someone go say, hey, Ella with two L's. <laughs> just spell it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, Bert Isaac. No, is it Bert Isaac? Definitely condolences. We actually just we talked about that um, a little while ago about um, the passing of this wonderful, wonderful president here, uh, His Excellency John Pombe Joseph Magafuli, uh, the fifth president of Tanzania, and um, he will truly, truly, truly be missed. Um, I was trying to catch a question. Larry Leitner says, can you find fresh watermelons and coconuts in Tanzania? Oh Absolutely. <laughs> Almost everywhere. <laughs> Why you got it so low? Almost everywhere. <laughs> so that's a yes for that one. Definitely fresh everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I just flipped it. Absolutely. <laughs> I plan to be there on a... Let me flip. Well, that's it. Um, hold on, my arm getting tired. Okay. <laughs> I plan to be there in Tanzania with a group of 10 in July and would like to know if it is possible to meet with you guys. Sure. Are there teenagers? Because, like, I need friends. Um, <laughs> you know. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, my birthday's in July too. Oh yeah, people need somewhere to sit because we're done with our food. Yeah, we won't be in here too much longer because it's starting to get packed in here, and I know people need a place to sit, and we just sit here talking. What? All right, Crunk King, Crunk King two three two. Have you tried? Oh. Uh, Ukwaju juice, tamarind juice. Now the juice, um, my husband used to eat the tamarind, um, at the fruit I guess, and we did. He bought me some tamarind ice cream, and I was like, "What is this?" Right? And I, I was like, "Nah, this looks like it's gonna be nasty, right?" But I tried it. It no, was like the time best. Out. Time out. Time out. Why are you interrupting me? No, I'm in a, let me turn this. <laughs> That's rude. First of all, no, I had to interrupt. Because you didn't tell the whole story right. What? I, I bought you the ice cream and you yeah. went completely off. You got, like, what is this? Why'd you get me that. this? Huh? I just said that. I thought But it was I got nasty. to show the nastiness. You, you was nasty. And you was, you why'd you? Hmm? <laughs> no, I just got to let people know. Because let them know the real. Because you got real nasty and funky with me. With Because with, I got you that ice cream. Before you, all right, I'll let you tell. Okay, I'll so next time he do something nasty and funky, I'm going to let y'all know too. Okay, because he can get nasty and funky too. So don't act like you missed the goody two shoes because you ain't. Now, back to the ice cream. I thought the ice cream was going to be nasty. I was like, Tamara, what? Okay, and so I tasted it. I'm like, okay, you know, a second time. Okay, all right, all right, it's not bad. Then the third, I said, wait, but this is pretty good. So the ice cream is actually good. But I haven't tried the juice yet, so I'm going to try the juice. But the ice cream is good. Thanks. Yeah, that ice cream was good. I ain't going to lie. Because I didn't get it the first time with my why is it brown. But <laughs> it's good. It tastes like fruit. Like tamarind. Wait, no. Is it clementine? What's that little, them small oranges, mandarins? Those are good. That's like one of my favorite fruit. My favorite fruit was pineapple, though. What's y'all favorite fruit? Let's play again. What's y'all favorite fruit? Mine's pineapple. How about you? Oh, it was my phone. I'm like, what's that sound? Ayla, did you say that you need new teenage friends? I did. I did. I mean, I'm still in contact with my close friends, but they don't live here. You know? Far away. Oh, across the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pineapple, yes, pineapple's good. Mango, mango, okay. Watermelon, papaya, all fruit is my favorite. Okay. Okay. 
That's nice. Lots of people like mangoes. My mom like mangoes. I I don't like I like mango juice, but eating a mango, I just mm I I can't eat like it. Just I don't like eating mango. The juice is good though. Watermelon used to be my favorite, but here's the story. So I had food poisoning once, and I wasn't eating because like when you got food poison, you don't want to eat. You're you're just sitting. You feel sick. You have no appetite. And so I had to force myself to eat watermelon because I had to eat something like, uh, uh. this was like, well, last year I had to eat something. So I ate watermelon. And ever since then, I never liked watermelon again. Story of my life. Yeah. Who's <laughs> that? Bev Baby Doll. Bev Baby Doll Adam. She said that Capricorn came out. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Because we're going to be fair. <laughs> That's right. Let me tell you. That's right. Ain't no thing about it. No. Think about it. No. You try to tell the story like you miss innocent, like, oh. No, I didn't. I, I said I didn't want the ice cream. cream. Dude, Don't you say didn't that. want it, and you got real nasty with me. That's, mm -hmm. I'm just letting the viewers know, yeah. like, you, you got so a little nasty with me. Let the viewers know. Okay, I'm going to let them know when you nasty too. All right. That's how it's going to do. <laughs> it don't bother me. Yeah. It don't bother anyway, me. Anyway, bather. <laughs> it wasn't that serious anyway. Shout out to Mills the Barber. I see you, sir. Hey, okay. All right, brother. Mills, you see how, uh, and you mm -hmm. know the beautiful wife. You yeah. see how she try to get, like, like Miss Innocent, like, you know, everything is cute. I know, Innocent. You got all the reels. Every time I'm on camera. Uh-huh. That's right. Yeah. Nice yeah. smile. That's real, ain't it? That's right. Uh, you get a little jazz you, in you, you get all the real every time. Anyway, shout out Mills the Barber. <laughs> All right, you say get them right, bro. Okay. Yeah, Shout right. out to Julie right. and Kaim and mm. Coffee and all y'all. Shout out to everybody over there. Yeah. Shout out to uh, everybody in Dubai. Everybody in um, Abu Dhabi. Everybody in the states. Yeah. Whoop whoop. We out, <laughs> we out here, family. Yeah. Oh man, I'm full. Hey, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Mama didn't want to get specifics. Uh -uh. That's all right. <laughs> we coming for you. No, oh, here we go. This became a whole thing. Hey, Miss C. Wrong. You wrong. Uh -uh. You I'm not wrong. The only thing I was saying is get the story right. You can't just have a story and it's half handed and half told. Whatever. Like, you know, oh, I just got the ice cream mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. no, because she I did made say, a little scene in the car. I did say, you know? I didn't want and the I'm ice like, cream. Mm -hmm. I did say that. So I was like, yo, I just wanted like regular vanilla chocolate or something. And then, so the guy was like, I got this one. And he was like, give me the, yeah, give me the tamarind. I said, tamarind? Good. Like, why you get me the tamarind? Yeah. I ain't want this. I don't like this, this, that. Uh, uh, why you get this? Now you being extra. So now you know I ain't like that. Now you being extra. Babe, now you being just extra. Try it. <laughs> now I don't want to try it. I want it vanilla. I want it chocolate. I want this. I don't even I'm like, like, what is all, all that? Right. What is all the hands? I'm like, all right, babe, look. <laughs> just try it, because he, he didn't have that kind, babe. Just calm, relax a little bit. Just, just try it. <laughs> I don't want to relax. I don't want to try it. Y'all you, you know how it is. I ain't even got to keep going. Now you going extra. Now you being extra. Now you being extra. Y'all see this. Now you being extra. She finally like took a lick, and then she wants to be all on me now. Oh, this is good. Oh yeah, baby. I'm like, all right. Really? But you put me really? through all of that before this, really? right? You know what you sound like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all I try to do is make my wife's life as comfortable as possible. Hell yeah, look. You know, and that's that's my whole thing. You know, when I get the nasty. Uh, uh, oh, really? So huh? I'm nasty. That's I just me. You nasty. You just you're not it. nasty. It's just <laughs> you just the attitude. You real attitude that day. I think it was hot. You know, I, it was real attitude. That just that one. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Cause you're making an ice cream scene. <laughs> like it was like it blew up the whole car or something. Like really? You be real extra right but now, boss. I don't care. I don't care. The thing, See, the here's thing, the thing is, is this is hilarious, y'all. No. This is a whole TV you show for me. Story. That's enough. Cause you put too much on it. You putting Hollywood on it right now. You doing a little Hollywood extra camera it. work on that. <laughs> anyway, what it was is I'm not used to. 
I have never had that ice cream. And I don't want you to spend money on something that I'm not going to eat. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Would you want somebody to spend money on something that you're not sure you're going to eat, right? So I know the flavors I'm used to, but I have never had tamarind ice cream. So I'm like, tamarind ice cream? And I know what it is. So I'm like, how do you do that? How do you put that together in an ice cream? So then I tasted it, and I'm like, okay. Then I taste it again. I'm like, ah, it's real cold. It was good. It's like a, it's real cold. It's ice cream. And um, and I was like, oh, this is good. It's actually good. So since then, I've had Tamara ice cream maybe two more times since then. So it is really good. So I'm gonna give him his credit. He chose something that was actually good. All right. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's how I went now, you know, the reason why I was a little, like, offended when she got hyped, because, like, you should already know, I got you, babe. You know what I'm saying? If I get something for you, it's, it's, it's going to be the best. I got you. You ain't got to get nasty, huh? Anyway, babe, I love you and I got you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get nasty because I get you something that's out of your element. Like, I got you. That's that's my main point. That's that's my yeah. main point. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got me, but he also going to do this on camera. So, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. about this? I ain't upset. It's cool. He got me, right? I'm cool. And whatnot. And whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss C. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to C. <laughs> this just went kind of left, but... um. It did. It did. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. Okay, I, I, I'm wrong. Okay. I'm the wrong one, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, we're not arguing. This is... Somebody yeah. said a debate. Yeah, it's whatever it is. It's a debate. It's cool. Ain't is this what I'm going to have to deal with in marriage? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> it ain't serious. This is silliness. All right. Yeah, but this place. Yeah, we got it. We're just getting full. Oh, gosh. What is it? After church? What, what's the day? A lot of people coming now. So, um, yeah, a lot of people coming out now. We got here. It was like maybe a few tables that were full, but a lot of people starting to come out now. So, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Someone asked if I had chicken. Does this answer your question? Uh, 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 uh. Chicken, cause that's my favorite food. And then they had plantain. That. Um. Anyways, no, I'm just playing the avocado. All right. Oh. I had a burp. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh again. So somebody want to know the restaurant? Tell me the name of the restaurant. Salad for days. Salad for days. In what? It's in uh, Masaki. Masaki area. Masaki. I heard this is the richest neighborhood in Dar. That's what I saw online. I was like. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Anyway, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> Eat your veggies. All right. I ate some of them. I like salad, but I'm picky. Yeah, I tore the chicken up. It, it was good. But I'm picky about salads. Like I like um, Caesar. Maybe some sweet onion dressing sometimes. Huh? You got a commercial? Okay. Mom has commercial. So, before we um, head out of here, hold it up, please. Before we head out, um, so this short commercial break is for Temple Rain, and that's T Y M P L E R E I G N. TempleRain.com. Temple Rain is a young author, and she made her writing and publishing debut at only the age of seven only seven years old. Shout out to Temple Rain. Her book, Temple's Tantrum, is now available in print and digital formats. Make sure your children, your grandchildren, your students, everybody has a copy of her book. Uh, children just love her book, so please go to www.templerain.com and order yours today. Again, that's Temple Rain, T-Y-M-P-L-E, R-E-I-G-N.com. You can also hit her up uh, through email at ask at templerain.com. That's A-S-K at templerain.com. Shout out to Temple Rain and make sure you get a copy of Temple's Tantrum today. Well, uh, whoop, whoop. Temple Rain family. 
One love the Temple Rain in the factory, yeah. Yeah. But um, we're going to wrap it up now because it's getting full in here. I don't know people need somewhere to sit. It's getting kind of packed. We need to go get the build up. So, but we'll wait till she comes here. So, yeah, how y'all doing again? Even though I asked that, like, oh, yeah, see, there's people over there. I, I am. Oh. I can't move this chair. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get up, but this chair don't move because it's like the, that. Didn't grab my hat as on her porch. Hold on. <laughs> Go to smart. She did. Our grandma uh, had in her, she had like a porch room in the front that I was at the side of the front of, or the back of the house. No, that might have been the back. Grandma Evelyn in the um, porch room. Remember, she had this the on the floor. Oh, that was no, the, had, the back. She had a patio in the front. And around back, it was like a sunroom. Sunroom. That's what it was. The sunroom had like yeah. this. This gives me a nostalgia. You know, memories. It had that in there. Though. That room was hot, too. It stayed hot in there. But here's like the outside. We're sitting right here right now. So here's what it looks like. Here, salads for days. It's honestly not that hot today, thank God. Because it'd be hot normally. So, yeah. I'm going to go to like the front. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people. It's more still coming. Do they have parking space? What? I don't even think they got nowhere to park. They in the middle of the street. Oh, how are we finna get out here? Well, we could just walk out. Oh. So. Yeah, that's about it. All right. Let me go back. I don't know. Some some people don't want to be recorded right now. So I'm going to try not to get too many people. Or I'm going to just try to walk fast. The food here was good, though. Very good. The wings was good. Let me go back. Hopefully the lady coming soon with the bill. And the mango passion juice I had was good too. It was like sweet and not too sour because like passion fruit alone makes my tongue hurt. If I drink it, it's like sour. Same with pineapples though. I can't have it too sour now. Here we go. I'm trying to move this again. But yeah. Whew. I had to catch my breath. I'm full. Huh. All right, hi, unknown traveler. Yeah. Huh. I should not be out of breath. Like that's just sad. I didn't even walk uphill. Yeah. Ain't it late over there? Isn't it like five and? What time is it? Where y'all at? That's my favorite question on here. Like, what time is it? Y'all be up late, like me. How have you been, Ayla? I've been good, Unknown Traveler. Hold on. I'm trying to hold the mic and this. Hold on. 11, 14 a.m. in London. Oh, okay. Where, what time is it here? It's 2.15 here. Cool. 11 in London. Not bad, not bad. It's about the time I wake up. Yeah. <laughs> for the luck. What happened? Oh, I thought it went out for a second. <laughs> 7.13 and hold on my arm. I gotta get my arm strength up. Like, it's an issue. That is an issue. It's sad. Because this thing is kind of heavy. Like, it is. After a while of holding this, y'all already get tired. Like, I'm struggling right now. That's it. It's <laughs> like, I can't even do one pull up. Wow. You gotta stand. Oh, yeah, I could have stood it up. Yeah. It's too late now. We're going off soon. So. But I'm gonna start doing that, though. What are you saying? The who? Oh. Hold on. What you say? No, um, so someone asked if the meal was expensive, but we are waiting on the bill. So as soon as we get the bill, we'll let you guys know. Um, but I just definitely wanted to say shout out to Crunk King, King 232 who is in London, uh, it's 1114, shout out to you. Tangela Jones, shout out to you in Orlando, Florida. Uh, shout out to Bevy Baby Doll Adams, 715 AM in Philly, shout out to you. Um, Mega Mini, Mega Mini Rashid, I think I said it right, in New York, shout out to you. Uh, Queen Sumter, shout out to you, New York. Let's see who else. 
Quran Rogers, uh, 315 in LA. All right, you're in LA. We used to live in LA. All right, shout out to you. That's the UAE. Um, anybody else? Malachi, Malachi Muhammad, sorry, is in the house. Shout out to you from Texas. Dinah, shout out to you in Florida. Uh, let's see. And Dinah, also hit us up um, via Instagram. You're trying to connect with us when you get here next week. Just hit us up on Instagram, unapologetic underscore nomads. Peace to Erky Maria. Shout out to you. Greetings from uh, Entrepreneurship Proactive Network. Greetings from the UK. Shout out to you guys in the UK. Greetings to... Uh, Ikechikwa, I hope I'm saying it correctly. I'm messing your name up. I'm so sorry, but shout out to you in the Netherlands. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's for you guys. So, um, Salma Sadiq, hi from Northampton, UK. Shout out to you in the UK. Man, we have a lot of people on here all over, all over. Definitely, definitely shout out to the fam in Philly, the fam in South Carolina, the fam in Man. All over Delaware, New York, Virginia, all the family in the United States, all the family in the UAE, all the family in Rwanda, here in Tanzania. Shout out to everybody, all the beautiful people on here right now. Shout out to all you guys. Um, man. So we're still waiting on the bill. As soon as the bill comes, we'll let you know how much this came up to be. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I hit my elbow. Yeah. That hurt. I hit like the inside part of my elbow on the corner of the chair. Like, ow. Happy I caught y'all live, family. Yes. Because some people don't be getting our notifications. Mm -hmm. Uh, any more? Yeah, my phone be at, see it's low on data. It only got like two gigabytes mm -hmm. and three. So it starts acting weird after a while. Yeah, where's the weather? <laughs> oh wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's nice weather out here today, family. Um, beautiful sunshine. It was like a little bit of rain earlier. So it's, I say it's still like around 30% chance of rain today. Um, <clears throat> it's like 88 degrees. That's what it feel like. Thank you. Thank you. It don't feel like the dew point is up as high as it usually is. It's not really that sticky. At least where we at now, it ain't. It's windy, you know. Uh, it's nice, family. T-shirt, shorts. If you're a female, maybe a sundress. Um, with us. Make sure you put on deodorant, family, because yes. it, could, it could get oniony on you on days like this. Um, maybe hat to keep the sun out your eyes. Sunglasses, maybe. Yeah, that's the weather for the day, family. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> flip the camera around. It don't want to flip. <laughs> but yeah, that's the weather. The good, all right. See, the thing about the heat that's very good, it's good for losing weight. You sweat, your skin is good for skin, you know. The sweat, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't gotta put lotion on my face like I used to because, like, it sweats and it'd be oily. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's shiny now. Well, maybe that's because I'm black, so our faces be shiny anyway because we glow out, you know. But. <laughs> Arusha is cooler. Nice. Now, like, I'm not going to lie. My favorite weather is, like, Rwanda-type weather. They said Arusha is similar to that. So that would probably be... We ain't been there yet. That's, like, my kind of weather. See, the way I like to dress is, like, winter-themed, fall-themed. But you can't... I can't do that. So I have to switch up my style, you know? You know? Shop for the heat and whatnot. So, yeah. But that is pretty simple. Sweatpants, a shirt, sneakers, or jeans, a shirt, sneakers. I wore, I got some dresses, though. I want some more flowier dresses, though, because it's hot. It's hot. It, you definitely going to need some dresses out here. I, was, I would recommend wearing dresses. It's hot. You'll probably sweat less. You'll be able to 
flow through and I know, but you can still breathe. Mm, yeah. Can you tell us what the locals are saying about his death, please? Heart attack. Heart attack. Yeah. Um, Complications. Uh, what we know is that he had heart, um, a heart condition that has been troubling him for a long time. So that's what we know. So, um, and uh, regardless to what Western media is saying, um, it was a heart condition that he was suffering with for some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think maybe I I don't know if they mean how do people feel or what, but yeah, the answer is that just um, please know. How do people feel? People are very sad. Like, I felt it yesterday. It was, like, really bad. Um, pretty sad day. They've also called for two weeks of, two-week period of mourning here. So definitely, definitely the people loved him. You can see it. You can feel it. We definitely feel it. Um, he's going to be deeply, deeply missed. And um, I think all the East African countries really, uh, at least Rwanda and I know Kenya, their flags are at half mass. You know, um, and uh, everybody's feeling it. So definitely, he will be truly, truly missed. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, my arms was burning. <laughs> Hold on. You what? Your arms hurt. My arms hurt. <laughs> I was really struggling. Just. You on top? That's on you. <laughs> I gotta work. It. Like it's sad, but my arms already look buff. Your arms are buff. Like the up. Look at this. <laughs> it don't never mind now in real life it do like i had <laughs> my grammar 100 percent. it do <laughs> and then she an english teacher she can't say when i do that because it's like how your mom an english teacher you talking like that and i'm like okay <laughs> um <laughs> let me see yeah. My hair is locking up. Mother did a very good job tightening it and twisting it, as you can see. See, the back is, like, locked. But the front's taking a bit of time to lock. The back grew fast. Like, I had, like, what was that? Probably two or three inches of new growth the other day. I'm like, how did it grow that fast? My gosh. But I use rice water in it to make it grow faster. And it's healthy. It prevents breakage. It makes your hair thicker. And stronger, so it don't break as easily. Ayla, we are going to need you to do some arm curls. What is that? What's an arm curl? Oh, <laughs> huh? I agree. They said I agree because it's sad. Like the first time it, re I really realized like, I was taking notes. Remember in Rwanda, I was taking so many notes that day, my hand started hurting, and like. It was stuck. You know when you sleep on your hand and be having that stuck feeling? It was like that. And then a few days later, my arm started hurting. I'm like, like, it felt weak. And it was hurting. And I'm like, what is this? And ever since then, my arms get tired fast. But I, my arm strength never been like that good. My leg strength is stronger. Like, I got more leg strength than arm strength. I think most women do have that, though, right? More leg strength than arm strength. And men have more arm strength. Like, naturally. But, yeah. Because in Cambodia, we had a pull-up bar. And I was getting it. I was trying to get my pull-ups in. I never got one. That's okay. I got half one. Uh, someone also, someone else mentioned rice water. Yeah, it's very good for your hair. How often do you use rice water? So, when I was in Cambodia, that's when I started using it. I was using it every other time I washed my hair. So, I would wash it once. And we had this big um, container with a hair mask. I would use that, and then the next time I wash my hair, I would use rice water. So you just wash your hair, shampoo, I would condition it, comb it out, wash all that out. Then the last step I would do is use rice water. I just make the rice water, I put rice in a bowl, have a hot water, let it sit for like an hour. Some people let it sit overnight, but that smells horrible. So I just sit, let it sit in hot water. Uh, I press it down try to get the nutrients out, and then strain it. And then I just pour the water on my scalp and massage it for a bit and let it sit for like 30 minutes. And then wash it all out. I use rice water too. Yeah, rice water is good because my hair was really breaking off in UAE. When we moved to Cambodia, I was trying to get it strengthened again and help it grow fast. And it was growing fast ever since I started using it. Ayla, you have beautiful hair. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait till my hair starts to get tight. My mom's length. Hair is long. That's why I got locks. I know they ain't bring the bill yet. 
they kind of busy though because it's like a lot of people i don't think so but yeah rice water is very good for your hair and black rice is like the best but you don't have to use too much of that because it got way more nutrients than white rice which is what i use but i haven't i'm pretty sure they got black rice out here i gotta find it so my daughter uses rice water you are beautiful whole fam thank you and that's good yeah that rice water is something else it's really good it really helps with breakage mom's hair is gorgeous yes that's why i got locks most of my friends like when we moved to uae my mom and she had her locks and they were already long and so most of my friends was like wow i like your mom's hair and now all of them got locks <laughs> and now so do i <laughs> and their mothers everyone got locks now i just thought about that look at that left an impact <laughs> I was uh, scared to use black rice water. I know. They say you don't use too much of it because it's real strong in nutrients. You don't need a lot. It's real strong in nutrients. Mm-hmm. Is your arm not tired? Wow. But, y'all, you got that monster strength. I, monster strength. Monster strength. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember she used to close bottles And it'd be like It takes us forever to open them I'm like how did you even do this Even she can't unopen it sometimes I'm like how did you close the bottle like that She's got that strength Thank you Ayla I'm going to do mine today Black rice wild Yes I decided to get locks before the pandemic I love my locks Yes I like mine too they're growing You know locking up The back is pretty much locked the front still look like twists, but that's all right. It'll lock up. It'll lock up. So, yeah. Locks are awesome. Uh, me see any more? Okay, yeah, here's the bill. So, we're going to show you how much this is. All right. My bill is here. The bill is here. Uh, thank you for the compliment, Bevy, baby doll. Thank you, sweetheart. Um... And definitely, I'm not. I wanted to let Ayla finish, but Ty W, uh, one of the members, he was saying that um, man, he was hoping we had a chance to meet uh, President Magafuli. When we got here, we wish we could have too. Um, yeah, we wish we could have too, brother. All right. So, is that a four? Okay. So it came out to sixty-four thousand Tanzanian shillings, and I'll tell you what that is in a second. Hold that. Ding nang ding nang 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 You got it. All right. So that's equivalent to to twenty seven U S dollars. So sixty four thousand Tanzanian shillings is what did I say? Twenty twenty seven U S dollars for all three of us, our drinks and our food. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Yes. Can't beat it. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then 27. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad for all of us. Bad, had, like, all of us. I had prawns. I had shrimp, calamari on my salad, everything. It was, yeah. man. And that was drinks and meal for all three. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. That is so affordable. Yeah, it's affordable. You can find very affordable things like food, furniture, a lot. You can find a lot. Hold on. It's starting to sway. It wasn't as hot before, but it's really not hot. I'm just sweating because it's like slightly humid. But hold on one second. Okay. Oh. But yeah. So we're about to head out. We're going to um, check back another time. I would like to um, thank you all. My brain stopped for a second. That's why I took that long pause. <laughs> That'd be happening. I'd be like, it just stopped. <laughs> and in the middle of a train of thought, my brain just be like, yeah. and I'd be completely forgetting. Yeah. I had all these words in my head. Then when it's time to talk, it, then it's just gone. It's gone. It's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Or I'll go to do something and I completely forget. I'll just be standing in there for like yeah. 10 seconds, like, yeah, I'll be in the kitchen. Like, <laughs> yeah, in the kitchen, like, yeah. and then I'll go upstairs and be like, oh, dang it, that's what I had to do. Yeah. <laughs> I did that last night. <laughs> yeah in the u.s you have you better have 200 dollars or more for the family meal oh, yeah. yes. what? That's what I was yes 
That's what I was telling people. I mean, I say, man, these seafood dinners that we eat here, are you serious? Yes, you're going to pay a lot. Yes. Yeah, when you're talking, when you're talking calamari, you're talking uh, shrimp and lobster and all that stuff like that. What? I mean, you're going to pay for that in the state. It's a lot. Yes, for seafood. Yes. That's real good. That's a steal. Wow. But um, again, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. Thank you for uh, again, again, rest in power, uh, His Excellency John um, Pombe Joseph Magafuli. Yes. Amazing, amazing leader. Uh, you know, um, we were hurting yesterday. You know, cried a lot, and it's still kind of you know, you know, hitting us here. But we know that we are in good hands. Uh, we thank his leadership. And our new uh, president, Miss um, Hassan, uh, we just look forward to, to continued good things happening here. But um, definitely, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your love, your questions, your concerns, just being with us, your energy, everything. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you guys. Yes. Thank you all for tuning in, watching us. And thank you for your love and support. I cannot talk. I'm loving support. There we go. <laughs> Let me give this to the father. Yeah, family. Exactly who we are. The unapologetic. No mask. And we unapologetic. Nomadic. Nomadic. Whoop, need it. <laughs> the money flew. See y'all next.